because the other example should be a little bit easier. Now, this example. So again, guys, kind of going back to if we have the hypotenuse, can we figure out what the adjacent side is? Like again, this is a 45, 45, 90, right? So therefore, if to go, if we look at our special relationship, yeah, if we have this is x and this is x, that means that's x squared of two. That's just right there, right? And that's our basic understanding. So if I'm giving you this and I want to go back to here, to go from here to here, you multiply by the square root of two. So to go from here to here, you have to divide by the square root of two. So therefore, this answer is simply x equals 30 divided by the square root of two. Rationalize the denominator. 30 square root of 2 over 2, which equals 15 square root of 2. Now, let's pretend you don't remember your special right triangles, and this doesn't help you out. Can we still write a relationship out? Do we have, do we have a relationship between these two angles of 45 degrees? OK, so what is 30 that represents the adjacent, opposite, or hypotenuse? Hypotenuse. What is this x? Adjacent. adjacent. Which trigonometric function deals with adjacent and hypotenuse? Cosine. So I could say cosine of 45 degrees is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. I should have done this one first. It might have made a little bit more sense. So guys, do we know what the cosine of 45 degrees is? I'll show you guys how to plug in your calculator, but we should not be plugging this into our calculator. Let's look at that unit triangle that I created. What is the cosine of 45 degrees? What is it? What's the cosine of 45 degrees? Square root of 2 over 2. Now, to solve for x, we just multiply by 30 on both sides. 15 square root of 2 equals x. OK? So not being able to use technology can be very helpful. 